Hi guys, welcome forward. So, the past couple weeks I have been learning the Sugar Plum variation from the Nutcracker. Today I'm gonna go into the studio, rehearse it a little bit more. The footage you just saw was the first time I was ever trying it and also some things I was just kind of screwing around with at my local gym with a bunch of other people also using the gym at the same time. So uh, it's coming along, but I would say that it is one of the more challenging variations, period. There are a couple different versions of the Sugar Plum Variation, the most famous of which is the Ivanov version. Ivanov? This is, su this is super embarrassing that I can't pronounce that right, but I do think that is the most famous variation. It's uh, the one that I grew up seeing the older dancers do at my studio. I'm not learning that one. There is also the Balanchine version, which probably of the three common ones, like the least traditional or the most different, uh, it's Balanchine style. So if you're familiar with Balanchine style, it's, it's always gonna be a little bit different than say the more strictly classical kinds. I'm also not gonna do that one. The third one that I'm not doing <laughs> is the Bolshoi version, which uh, deviates quite a bit from the Ivanov version. The Ivanov version is used in uh, at the Marinsky Theater, and the Bolshoi does their own version. So I'm not doing any of those. What I decided to do instead was look up the kind of big classical company that I grew up with, which is San Francisco Ballet. They were the closest company to me throughout my adolescence, and they had one of my favorite dancers for a really, really long time, Maria Kuchikova, and she has a version on YouTube, you can look it up, that is Helgi Tomlinson's choreography. He's no longer the artistic director, but was the artistic director for a really long time. So I decided to do that version. I also just remembered a fourth, I guess fifth version of the Sugar Plum variation, which is actually the one that I did the first time I ever did Sugar Plum, which is um, Mikhail Brezhnikov's choreography Gelsey Kirkland dancing it. I think I found it on like a random VHS tape from 1981, probably. And I don't think I've ever seen anybody else do that version, that choreography, which as an 18 year old, I thought, great. I'm, <laughs> I guess I was just like really, really trying hard to be an original at 18. I couldn't possibly just do the choreography that everybody else in my studio had chose to do year after year. I guess if I really think about it, I'm still like, trying desperately to be original since I didn't pick any of the main versions this time either. Anyway, today we're going to go in and choreograph it. I doubt that today will be the final day of me rehearsing because I really haven't gotten to rehearse it on point that much. I had the one time that I rented the studio that you guys saw earlier, and then I've just been doing it randomly in my flat shoes or my tennis shoes whenever <laughs> I find an open space that avails itself to me. So yeah, we'll see how it goes today.